We've come to find out through the Auditor General's report that uh, the SRBC is just as we thought. They're unchecked. They're spending money on lavish things like alcohol and food and things for meetings they shouldn't be doing, and this is taxpayer money. Uh, even though they're an independent organization, they're not really a government agency, they are a compact, uh, it's still taxpayer money that they're spending, and they need, to have, they need to have checks and balances. Our municipalities through DEP are already uh, submitting data, uh, either monthly or quarterly, and SRBC is uh, collecting the same data, but in a different format. So our municipalities are forced to spend a lot more money than what they should have to. And then on top of that, when the SRBC is found to be spending money to buy alcohol, filet mignon, uh, crab cakes and things like that for their meetings, you know, uh, I've got people that live from nickel to nickel. Part of what they're trying to live on has to go to support that kind of behavior, unchecked behavior. I believe we need to get to a point very quickly uh, with uh, putting members of the General Assembly, both sides, both houses, on the board for anything that involves Pennsylvania. What they do in New York, what they do in Maryland, I couldn't care less. That's their business. If they want to address it, that's fine. But in Pennsylvania, we have an elected official system. My constituents have no one on that board in that compact representing them. Absolutely no one. We're going to start writing legislation now. First thing I want to do is, uh, is get a petition signed by members of the House and the Senate within the Valley requesting the Executive Director Andrew Dayhoff's uh, resignation. Uh, after finding this out, he obviously doesn't have much control on the SRBC uh, and what goes on. Maybe he's part of that. Either way, he should go. The second thing is I think that we need to adopt legislation uh, in, in the General Assembly. Hopefully the governor will go along with that. That puts members from the House, Republican and Democrat, and from the Senate, Republican and Democrat, from the Valley on SRBC's board for any decision that would have any interest within Pennsylvania. We should be represented. This compact was a mistake when it was made 50, 60, 70 years ago, uh, and, uh, and we need to correct their poor judgment or, or poor foresight from back then.